I wrote this, well, I'm sure that I was thinking that I had made a lot of very stupid decisions in my life mm -hmm. and that I was now suffering the consequences of them having all piled up and come home. <laughs> this was a very personal poem, I'm sure, when I wrote it, although I, I like to write personal poems in such a way that nobody has to know that. <laughs> uh, okay. The chickens are circling and blotting out the day. Now that's a really funny thing to say. Chickens, you know, somebody has written me a letter and told me, I love your poem, Ch uh, Home to Roost, but you should know we raise chickens and you need to know chickens don't really fly. Uh, the chickens are circling and blotting out the day. The sun is bright, but the chickens are in the way. Yes, the sky is dark with chickens, dense with them. They turn, and then they turn again. These are the chickens you let loose, one at a time, and small, various breeds. Now they have come home to roost, all the same kind, at the same speed. Carol and I were reading the paper on Sunday morning in bed, and Carol's reading the funnies, and and she she says in this stricken or awed or something tone, she says, Kay, read this out loud. And she passes me the funnies, and, and I start reading this cartoon, and it's boondocks. And in it, the little brother who wants to get his bit of the action now and is complaining uh, is, is smacked down by his big brother, Huey, who uses my poem Patience in, in this cartoon. It was just astonishing, he says. You know, a poet named Kay Ryan once said, who would have guessed it possible that waiting is sustainable, a place with its own harvests, or that in time's fullness, the diamonds of patience couldn't be distinguished from the genuine in brilliance or hardness. What do you think that means? Huey asks Riley. Riley answers. It means you're a nerd and poetry is stupid. <laughs>